The U.N. Security Council has passed a new resolution on North Korea, imposing what are being called the toughest sanctions yet on the regime. South Korea has welcomed the resolution and said it will announce its own independent sanctions on Friday to maximize the effect of the international measures. Kwon Zua reports. South Korea immediately welcomed the adoption of the UN Security Council's new set of sanctions, drafted on the heels of Pyongyang's fifth nuclear test in September. Along with Resolution 2270, the new resolution is another milestone in that it imposes the toughest and most comprehensive non-military sanctions on North Korea in the history of the UN. Minister Yoon added that if North Korea does not take the path toward denuclearization, it will not only have to deal with greater economic difficulties and diplomatic isolation, but it will also have its UN membership suspended. In a bid to maximize the effects of the new UN sanctions, the South Korean government held a meeting of related bodies, including the Foreign, Defense, Unification and Economy Ministries, and said the Prime Minister's office will announce Seoul's independent sanctions on the regime on Friday morning. And according to a government source, for the first time a Chinese entity, Dandong Humxiang Industrial Development Company, is expected to be sanctioned as it's suspected of having provided the North Korean regime with materials that can be used to build nuclear bombs. Meanwhile, Seoul's foreign ministry says Japan, the U.S. and the EU are also expected to announce their own unilateral sanctions at a similar time. A key government official referred to Resolution 2321 as a, quote, choking resolution. Another official called it terrifying. Time should tell whether the new resolution will have a greater effect than the previous one, which had already been called a, quote, terminating resolution. Kwon Arirang News.